Hi guys, I'm Phil and welcome back to the channel. Now, many of you have seen my last few videos will recognise my good friend AJ. Good morning, my people. AJ, the only spiker. Now today, well actually, this weekend we've come down to Warminster. You had a really busy day yesterday, didn't you? Intense, it was amazing. We had the Petrolettes ride out in Bristol, which was led by Piston Pinup, AKA Marta, who yeah. did a fantastic job. We had a fantastic turnout. Um, and now today we are here at the Enduro Phoenix School in yeah. Salisbury Plains. Yeah, actually War Warminster. Warminster. So this is Phoenix Trials, and they've kindly invited me to come along and bring some friends with us today to experience some off-road riding. Now, it's been years since I messed about riding off-road, absolute years. I've never had any formal training, and these guys are going to show me how to ride a bike properly off-road. And they're going to put us through our paces. Indeed. Now, regular visitors of this channel will remember my friend Becca, who was involved in my Tiger video back in January. Now, Becca is actually going to join us today. And as if by magic, here she is. So, um, what experience have you had riding off-road, Becca? Um, I'll be honest, the only experience I've had riding off-road was a test ride of a Himalayan Scram at Overland last year, and I loved it. Fantastic. They took us on a BMX track, um, yeah. which was not expected, but yeah, I've been itching to try this since, so yeah, put me through my paces today. Brilliant. Ideally, we would have liked four people, really. Oh. <laughs> Come on in. So this is Marta. Hi Marta. Hello everyone. So I'm Marta. I have a little bit of off-road experience because I've done a day course. And she's European. But <laughs> <laughs> everything's yeah. off-road. Europeans <laughs> Go always off-road. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So therefore is native. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh looking forward to this because it's been a three years since I've done it so yeah. awesome now these three girls know each other really really well I've had the pleasure obviously no AJ Becca stayed with me when you were off to Europe recently so yeah is. so maybe maybe we'll talk about that in another video but you've just done about three weeks around Europe haven't you yeah well I suppose technically you could probably count part of that off-road yeah but... indeed and I had the pleasure of meeting Marta on a few occasions last year so really excited about it today so we need to get to uh, have the briefing Get the gear. Phoenix is supplying all the gear for us. Hopefully and hopefully get some idea. <laughs> and then hopefully they give some idea some on how point, to ride yeah. these bikes. Bye! Before heading off, we were all kitted out with some off-road gear. And the guys carried out some last minute adjustments to Marta's bike. Uh, Justin, you oh. just lowering the bike a little bit for Marta, just a little bit. Yeah, take it Adjusting for the little one. Yeah, you're good. We were then shown the basics on how to get on and off these very tall bikes. I feel like my, my first big bike was too tall for me, so I kind of got used to like spotting the canvas. Yeah. We were all allocated a bike depending on how tall we are. AJ, Becca and myself had the Fantic 250 and Marta had a Honda CRF. used to the bikes and be observed on how well we could ride. Do. Let, let's do a circuit round sitting down remember to get your weight forward get your elbows up looking where you want the bike to go and then 
Second circuit, stand up. Remember where you're going to position your feet. Mind your knees, don't lock your knees out because if you go over anything that's uneven, you just jar your knees. So keep your knees flexible. Okay, let's have a go. And what we're trying to do with our arms is one, it gives a slightly stronger wrist because if you go over any, as you're sitting there like this normally, yeah. what you'll find is if we go up a hill, you'll end up with a, your wrist will just drop down on you, you're opening up. So if you keep it up higher, you can control. Okay, because you get to get How was that, girls? Hey, good. Bloody went over a jump. Yeah, we did the jump. You oh, followed yeah. him, did you? I chickened out. I followed yeah, him. Yeah, I, I had to ball because I needed one in the back of you. I didn't know what <laughs> It's all good, though. So at the moment, what we've been doing is just getting a feel for the bikes and learning some different riding positions, yeah? And the jump. And, the, and learning to jump. So in this video, we're not really going to talk about all the different techniques of riding because that's why you guys need to come here and join Phoenix to find out for yourselves. But we've been learning different techniques about, like, Seating position, standing up, where the hands should be, all that oh, kind of thing. Put the weight Balance, really yeah. Weight. Yeah, where's it? How to distribute the weight? Foot position. Yeah. Sit properly. Or, yeah. We've only been doing a few laps so far. I've already learnt loads. I'm already sweating. So guys, we've done about yeah. probably 30 to 40 minutes in the field, just getting a feel for the bikes and the riding position. We've cut that little bit short actually, because we're all doing all really well apparently. So now we're gonna go out on the road and do a kind of longer trail. So, yay. <laughs> Within a few minutes of leaving Phoenix, we were already riding on the byway and on the uneven train. It was definitely essential to have the time riding around the field, getting acquainted with the bikes. We weren't too long into the ride when Justin pulled over as AJ and Paul weren't with us. So while he went back to make sure they were okay, the rest of us admired the view, not realising that AJ had had the first off of the day. You all good? You all right, matey? Yeah. I just Solid. went off in the right and it went bang and the bike went straight on top of me and I was like, I need assistance. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's what almost happened to me. Yeah. I wobbled and I was like, Shit. And I only just caught it. And it just went, no. And I was like, yeah. hey, you Make sure you're looking as far ahead as you can because it's quite easy. You see the rut, you look down yeah. at it, and before you know, you're bouncing off the other side of it. After that happened, I was looking to try and work out what was the right path, and I kind of managed to avoid it, but. Well, you've, also, you've also got to tell the front wheel where it wants to go. So, yeah. unlike riding, what we have to do is if we want it to go, if we've got our weight over it, I want it to go. Uh, that way, I'm going to push. Yeah. All right, so it's not quite the same stereo on the road. You've got to tell that front where it's going to go. Oh, it's a cracking new two shot. The whole thing just went on top, and I tried to bang. I was like, ow. Yeah. Did you get it on GoPro? Yeah. Nice. Unfortunately, AJ didn't capture it on GoPro, and I think she was more upset about that than actually coming off. So after she got her breath back, it was time to move on.
I love the different surfaces we rode on, which also included jumping on B roads every now and then to get to the next byway. Justin led us to a triangular area where we could practice tight turns and ride on new surfaces. Once again, our confidence began to grow and we found ourselves looking for small jumps and ruts and that's when Becca had her first off of the day. How are you doing? And caught that on camera. You did, I kept the camera going. Just take a moment to breathe, leave the bike. Are you alright? I went into the dry bit. Yeah, be careful with those ruts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We will right. take a moment to breathe, mate. I'm You're okay. Right. Cracking footage though, that was definitely recording. Brilliant. <laughs> so now we've dropped it, open the bars. Then that way. Yep. Yeah. Away from you, that's it. Yeah. Now if you stand, I'll show you either side of that one. Both hands on it, bend your knees, so use your legs. Right, ready? Up we go. Oh. And then. <laughs> i got to bend that back. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a little bit twisted. Let's just see. Might have to go and get that. Yeah, let me go. We'll take it over there. Justin will have a screwdriver, a spanner. I think so. it's the other way. Oh, is it gone the round? cables. No, because it, it needs to go that way. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what we do. So while the guys sorted out Becca's bike, I went off trying out the different surfaces. Do a quick repair, are we? Feet down, that more because the ground's so yeah. uneven, you can catch the foot and break Yeah. Oh, yeah Just yeah. doing a few little. Uh... Yeah, these instructors are fussy about their brakes. Yeah, it's quite nice to have them working. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And 
then once again we were off, riding along the dusty byways and discovering for ourselves how deep some of the ruts were. Now, we were told to keep a decent distance from the rider in front, but of course, I was keen to capture footage of other riders in my group. As you can see, Beckham made the call to stop and assess the conditions. Another lesson I have learned, listen to the instructor and apply that two second rule even when riding off-road. And then it was time for lunch that was kindly provided by Phoenix and time for us to have a little breather and show off our war wounds. AJ, you got a little bit of road rash? <laughs> gnarly, gnarly rash. Got a little bit gnarly rash. So you're proper proud of that, aren't you? Yeah, I just... You've tried hard today. Everything's Rubbing back in. On me. It's all right. <laughs> it's good. You went down hard. Apparently, it looked very dramatic. I didn't get it on my camera, to be fair, because I was proper yeah. pretzel. The bike was on my head. Yeah, you're very upset, you mean. Look, look, look he's still in shock. Look. <laughs> I thought you put your arm through the wheel. I was trying to work out, was that the wheels? I tried to work out what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the ground. I was like, this is not right. I was yeah. like, yeah. So, I was like, I can, I can see the sky. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you have got to the hard track. It was sky cross, <laughs> sky cross, sky. Yeah. <laughs> For about 30 minutes, Justin pulled over to show us a field full of tanks which were used for target practice. No Becker, they worked for camps. We had to have a group shot in front of their Ministry of Defence sign, and then it was back on the bikes.
If you're wondering what that noise was, it's AJ getting excited about a field of cows. Now if you look carefully, you can see the roadside has some pretty steep drops which AJ discovered, but managed to dismount the bike pretty gracefully. And now we're about to encounter the most difficult challenge of the day so far. Yeah, me too. Do you see my bum slide out like five times? Sorry. See my bum like. Oh man! Love going While we stopped for a little rest and photo opportunity, I thought it'd be a good idea to chat to the girls about the day so far, while AJ went exploring. Come talk to me. You was, we was going up quite a steep incline just now, wasn't we? Yeah. And the ruts in there were like, I don't know if it's going to come out on the GoPro, but there were some serious ruts, weren't there? It was very much kind of the same thing that happened earlier when I came off. Yeah. Which is what made me, I was getting in my head a little yeah. bit, thinking, oh crap, I came off because of a rut. And then I thought in my head, okay, just pick a rut and commit to it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was just following that rut and for the rest of it, and just trying to make sure I stayed upright. And to change your body position. 100%, yeah, the, the guys explained it perfectly earlier, saying that it's not like a, it's not a case if you pick a position and you're fine for there. It's constantly reevaluating how you're balancing. It's all counterbalance. 
and I'm not saying this like I know exactly yeah, what yeah, I'm on yeah. about, but that's how they explained it to me and yes. it was exactly how it felt. That's right. You're constantly like evaluating and readjusting your position as you go, depending on the terrain, everything. And you went up that hill and you went went up through those ruts. I almost lost the bike about three times, but, but because, because we keep readjusting, readjusting, you can feel it. Yeah. We managed to make it through. All so, of us, I think, almost lost the bike at one point. We did. But uh, we all we This all is your bike, isn't it, number one? This is mine. So how does it feel to you riding that bike? Because what bike do you ride? <laughs> I ride a cruiser. You ride a cruiser. So, <laughs> so I ride a Yamaha XV950, which is the Bolt. Yeah. Um, very, very different than this. I mean, obviously, for those of you that have ridden cruisers, you know that you sit quite far back on the seat and your arms out in front. Yeah, and legs forward. Whereas that's the worst thing to do on this bike. You've got to sit right up the front. And that's where I keep catching myself. If I'm sat down, I'm not sat in the right position. I prefer standing up, yeah. riding this. Yeah. Um, but they said it's, it's easier riding up, standing up anyway, but... It's, it's a perfect yeah. bike for you though, isn't it? It's a lot of fun. Honestly, this has made me fall in love with off-roading. I need to do this now. Yeah. I need to get myself an off-road bike and practice. It was very much... <laughs> Culture. Look, here we show them, eh? Look at the bullets the front where they do shooting training. I said they must do like um, sniper oh, yeah. training. Look. Look. They must do sniper training. Look, they obviously shoot from here somewhere. Oh, all the good girls. This is temptation. Hey, Joe. What's up? How are you doing, mate? Okay. Dusty. It is very dusty, isn't it? So, so it's a warm day, isn't it? It's not like we're not, Scottish. we are hot and melting, but it's, it's not ridiculously yeah. boiling, is it? Well, like, thank, it's, it's thankful there's a breeze, and yeah. it's a cool breeze. It's at least 25 degrees, yeah. minimum. Okay, yeah. cool. So, how are you getting on? How are you finding the day? Oh, look, it's very tiring. Like, you've got to, like, I totally get how you see all of these guys, that means guys and girls, yeah. online that do really intense workouts before they go for like a race or yeah. like especially the Dakar, like the desert, yeah. you know, like Harry from um, another motorcycle school, he's gone and done it and it's just intense. So yeah, they have to go through top quality fitness to do this and I totally yeah. get why, because it's really hard work. Yeah, you, your bones are like taking a shake in all, the whole time, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I'm alright. It's a lot like, of fun I'm, though. I'm quite, I'm, I'm used to it now, I'm soft in my knees. And, yeah, you're bending, you know, bending and going with it. stiff, it's game over. You've got yeah. to, yeah, you've got to be... Always... So, have you ever done a day off-road as long as this before? Not as long as this, no. No, so you feel like you're learning as, as the day goes on, we're constantly... I think as... you learn all the time. Yeah. Like, even these guys say they learn every time they go out. He's been doing it 20, 25 years. Yeah. He says every day you learn. So, it's like anything. I think once you get to the point of complacency, that's when you have an accident. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. We, we kind of... You relax into it and, and keep soft, keep fluid. Yeah. But we kind of keep in... Um, Keeping our wits about us, yeah. but relaxing with it as well, aren't we? We had, we had a deer running out in front of us just now, and yeah. a pheasant, um, and something else. But yeah, it was a big, big a deer, 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 female deer. Yeah. <laughs> How are you finding it? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm really loving the day. It's absolutely brilliant. So, I used to mess about off the road when I was a kid. Um, so I've had a lot of off-road experience, but this is kind of. Um, made me realise I've had to kind of retrain and rethink all over again. I've been putting all my energy into learning to ride properly on the road, which I never had training for that. Now I'm needing training to ride off road. And what I have learned off road in the past was just myself missing about and falling off. So what these guys have just taught me in just a few hours about the body position, um, all the things that Becca and AJ here was just saying, you know, constantly moving, constantly keeping fluid, keep relaxing. But um, everyone rides slightly different, and these guys just pick up on what we do and give us great pointers. But I love it. I mean, we, we haven't seen a lot of mud. Well, I must admit, I don't mind that. We've seen a lot of dust. But yeah, absolutely loving it. Marta! Hello. How are you doing? Good. How's the day been? So we've just had lunch, awesome. haven't we? Awesome. Really, really good. I mean, just back there, I thought, oh, my skills. Yeah. But no, I managed to keep the bike up and uh, keep keep the body position yeah. and keep the weight. It's all about weight distribution on top of these bikes, isn't it? So it's, it's yeah. quite useful. 
yeah. to learn these things. So it, was it when you went up that steep incline with all those ruts in there that you found yourself a bit, whoa, but this isn't going to dwell. Yeah, and I got sweaty. It's, yeah. It's quite hard work. That, that, I think that was the hardest climb of the day, wasn't it? Yeah, so Cli far. Yeah, let's yeah. see what the guys have for us. Yeah. Because they might have a bit more. Yeah. So yeah. How, how are you getting on your bike then? Can we show me your bike? You've got the yeah, um, black got, one, haven't you? The Honda. Black sheep. <laughs> the black sheep. I've got yeah. the black sheep. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, it's suspension. I mean, it's, these are always amazing, isn't it? Because you just feel so much work goes on the suspension. Yeah. Actually, it's just keeping you on yeah. track and going. And have you found that you're 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 relaxing on the bike now? The more experience you've got. Yeah, I'm a lot more got. relaxed than in the morning. Try to just keep the positioning more more to play a little bit with the weight and uh, keeping the position as the tips they gave us yeah and uh yeah going for it <laughs> yeah, definitely and that's what you found the sort of best tip that you've had so far is just keep yourself moving keep changing it's, that position it's all about keeping the speed to a comfortable position yeah and your balance like your body positioning in the correct points because you can even use your feet to like balance a little bit like turn a little bit yeah. the bike in the right track so yeah so and just let the bike decide really is is another thing yeah, for sure. don't focus too close focus a bit on the horizon so what would you say to someone who's never ever ridden off road before do you well, think they might look at this and think crikey this is not for me what, what would you what would you say well it to wasn't that? for me at the start i had never done it and um, you know get yourself out there and do it that's yeah. the main thing just yeah. get out try it you won't know if it's not for you until you try it. You give a really, really good go. You can't just like, ooh. Yeah. What I always have said over the years is, because I learned to ride a motorcycle off-road like as a kid teenager, when the bike kind of gets out of shape, you learn not to panic. Yeah. So this well, It's all about keeping it smooth. Once yeah. it starts getting out of where you thought, just keep the throttle at the nice smooth speed maybe maybe decelerate a little bit and keep control of it yeah. it's all about control isn't it so a lot of the skills that you learn from here from today you would take on on the road with you won't you well, of course yeah i think they say is that if you're quite good off road you'll be fine on the road <laughs> yeah nice one brilliant well we've still got a little bit more to do haven't we so yes i mean i'm gonna look at this yeah you want to climb up the tank but that's not allowed <laughs> no i'm not gonna climb <laughs> look. thank you thank you
eat dirt. started the day. Too sorry, have I been a pain in the ass? I have, haven't I? There you go. Guess what? I nearly binned it. Did you? Yeah, Paul would tell you, didn't I? <laughs> almost, almost where you went when your first one it tried to go right. Yeah. And it, and it almost didn't work. <laughs> It kicked, me, it kicked me up like a buckaroo. Well, there's your tea, Phil. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. So, we're back. We made it. So, it's the time. Just gone four o'clock. So, we've been out for quite a few hours. And we've had an amazing time. Um, oh, the girls found a little present for me. Found these uh, bullet shells. I don't know what they are. Little bullet shells on the side of the road. So very cold 
So yeah, having only just been back a few minutes, they've gone to grab some drinks and some sugar, got some donuts supplied by the guys. We're pretty hot and sweaty. But what an epic day. I say, um, I come very close to bidding the bike just now. I was on the final little stretch and uh, I was trying to get out from one long rut to the other. Um, and it's that little crossover and it was deeper than I thought and somehow I thought the front went kind of sideways. Woo. Somehow I managed to save it, so that's awesome. And, and that's what I love about riding off-road. As, as I keep saying, you know, it's been years since I've ridden off-road, but learning to ride a bike off-road, it just helps your reactions as well. And even though your heart might skip a beat, um, you kind of don't panic quite so much. You just, you got a second just to deal with it. And I think that's really worthwhile. That's what you want, riding on the road. Or even if you don't ride on the road, you're gonna have so much fun riding off-road. But all the girls have absolutely loved it today. But for me, yeah, thank you, Phoenix Motorcycle Training. I've had an absolutely brilliant day. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, can't wait to do something else like this again. Depending on how long it's gonna take me to edit this, We've got ABR Festival coming up very soon as well in Phoenix. So uh, I believe one of the major sponsors of that festival. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing that as well. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go and grab a glass of water and some sugar and a donut. And I'll go and grab the girls and let them tell you what they think about the day. Works fine for Marta's filthy Are you girls hair. getting ready for your close up? Yes. Yeah. Her European filthy hair. Let's face it. Oh, I was going to put I was just going to leave it. Marta pointed out that my hair was knotty and told me to brush it <laughs> by walking over with a brush. Oh. Go, um, so answer, can, like can you send me some... So <laughs> from anyone else, I was quite so happy to be knotty, but apparently Marta didn't want me to be. <laughs> you just spell it. Oh. Ladies! <laughs> Hi! Hello, how are Hello. we doing? We're good. Yes. How? 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 Well, let's, let's just show Becca on that bike. It's a tall bike, isn't it, Becca? Very tall. Ugh. Look at that. Bum drop. <laughs> professionals now. Come on then. Professional. I've had a little chat to camera. What did, how was the day? We, we got back, we had some good. sugar. It was good. A cup of tea. Yeah. It, was it was really, really good. really good. It was really good. Like, it was, it was everything you could kind of ask for from a taster session and more. Because it wasn't just a generic going around a random kind of track, like again and again and again. There was so much variety. There was like a bit of field riding. There was a bit of like road riding a bit of off-roading a bit of track trials and forests and it was really really good really really good it was like different an adventure terrains as well yeah different yeah. terrains, terrains. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bit of mud. Bit mud. yeah 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 a bit of mud even though yeah. it's so sunny they still managed to find the biggest puddles we could find yeah. oh yeah. show me aj look at that look at that that looks a bit of mud a bit of mud and uh now we had I can't. I just said I had. I came very close to an off. Um, Marta, did you come off? No, actually, no, I'm, I'm no. the only one. Yeah, she was on the baby bike. She cheated. Yeah. 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 So, so bike. <laughs> AJ had run the first off to the beginning, Mine didn't was you, epic, mate? And I'm gutted. I missed it because I was like a pretzel. Poor yeah. guy. <laughs> he was tanned. He was like a ghost. Wait, like. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, put yeah, it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> Becca, how about you? Do you um, have you had any tumbles? I've had a couple. But and I caught them both on camera. She landed yeah. so ladylike. Like, <laughs> so. You just landed so gracefully inside the other rut. You're what like, can I say? <laughs> I am graceful. Yeah. But, you know, none of us want to fall off. But you're yeah. laughing. Oh, yeah. So it's all part of the fun. I think it's with something like this, well, you yeah. can't be complacent. You've no. got to expect that you're learning. You might come off. It's not gonna be too painful to be honest. I I'm not in I'm not in pain. If you're gonna honest. come to something like this, leave yeah. your egos at home. Completely. It's, yeah. it's all about fun. Ego yeah. is the most dangerous thing you you're got. You're also like testing your boundaries. Yeah. So you're learning. You're obviously getting somewhere. You know, judgment might might be a bit it's off a sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whilst you're still finding your ground. I yeah. reckon even the best riders come off. They just don't always tell you. <laughs> no, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Yeah. That's it's brilliant. Funny. But it was it's hilarious. Really, really, really yeah. good. Really good. Cool. Highly recommended. Come nice please. one. Definitely. Come Let's on. uh, should we go and get the stig out here? Yeah, the uh, the Careful. Phoenix Trials stig and Paul. Careful. 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 Careful
Oh, he's putting his makeup on. It's first time again. Hi, Paul. Hi there. Hi, yeah. So this is Paul. He was at uh, Talon Charlie. Yeah. Um, so basically, whenever bikes got dropped, you're the one who picks them all up. Uh, I'm, I've recovered now. Yeah, like, I've recovered. I've got my colour back. Yeah. 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 But also, yeah. you just um, obviously. Um, oh, here we go. Here Is there a main instructor? I mean, you guys are just passing advice to us all day long, wasn't you? So, um, but these these guys have told us um, really all the information fun. that we needed to know to kind of make it a very enjoyable day. So, how did these girls get get on? I thought it well. You know, overall, look. And me. People come off. People come off. It happens. Yeah. Uh, and I think, I think we did really well. It was a good day. We've, we've covered a lot of uh, ground. Uh, yeah, we've had a few tumbles, but nobody's been hurt. And the thing is, learn from it. You know, you come off. Why have you come off? How do you stop it happening next time? Exactly, exactly. We've had the sun shining. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, for anyone who's never um, been along to a Phoenix Motorcycle Training Day, you mm. offer different levels, don't you, of training? Yes, yeah, so we've got two sites. There's a site just outside London uh, in a place called Sig Cup. We do taster sessions there. You can come along for a 90 minute just to see what you think of it. Um, there and here, we then do really three different levels. Level one for, for a beginner, uh, not done any kind of off-roading before. We spend the first hour uh, getting people used to riding, introducing them to technique, and then getting out on, on trails that they're gonna be comfortable on. And then level two and level three, just, just build on that. It's more time out uh, on more, more demanding uh, trails. Fantastic, brilliant. Right. Well, thank you from me and from the girls for an amazing day. We've all really, really enjoyed it, haven't we? Right. Yeah, and none of us ended up in the hospital. Yay! Yay. Despite the yeah. best efforts. Yeah, exactly. Yay. <laughs> we, we might have, like, we've got a 24-hour window yet, so, you know, things might come up later, but you don't know. But now we're good. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Thank Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. So thanks, as always, for watching, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, please engage, leave a comment, let me know if you've ever done any off-road riding or if it's something that you're really interested in doing, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to give a like if you think it deserves it and hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on the next video. The more people who subscribe will help me and open up more opportunities to do things like this. So I really appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Subscribe, like and comment.